I just don't know what, what to expect, actually. Basically, I don't know the guy. It has a sense of a blind date. So I'm pretty close to our meeting point right now. I actually uh, can see it over there. I'm super, super nervous and I hope it won't be awkward to meet each other the first time. Due to COVID-19, most countries closed down over a month ago. Europe has now become the epicenter of the pandemic. European countries are closing their borders. Coronavirus can we not stop. We join with all nations across the globe. Das wird auf die Probe gestellt wie nie zuvor. This is the worst public health crisis for a generation. Usually, I would be now outside in the city center, meeting my friends and planning the next party or bar evening with them. But because of social distancing, this is not longer possible anymore. And I'm more or less stuck at home, like most of the other people as well. A lot of them, I heard, turn to dating apps. I've never tried it, so I thought maybe now it's the time for it. And my team and I want to have a closer look on how Corona actually changed online dating. People told me that they even reinstalled the app just because of the quarantine. To understand why, I need to get on the app. Since the lockdown in mid-March, Tinder and Bumble experienced an increase in usage worldwide. Among young people, Bumble and Tinder are still the most popular apps. More than half of their communities are between 18 and 29 years old. People are messaging each other more often. They are texting between 16 and 20% more than usual. The apps also notice that people are now having longer conversations with each other. Bumble users also benefit from the in-app video chat feature. During the lockdown, they use it 40% more often. Well, starting setting up a profile then on Tinder. I'm a bit excited, really. Okay, now we're coming to the photo part, the actual interesting thing. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> It's really exciting and I really feel the pressure to select the best pictures I have that I look actually good on my profile and uh, yeah that I'm feeling comfortable with that and showing myself but not showing too much and looking too like weird. This is not a normal profile so um, that we are actually looking for people who use these dating apps during the quarantine situation and uh, yeah, doing a little documentary about that um, and this is what I tried to tell them and I hope they read it. <laughs> yeah, I have like, hey everyone, my teammates and I are doing a documentary about online dating during Corona. I would be happy if you would answer some of my questions. Will you be my quarantine? Question mark. A lot of people perceive dating apps mainly for hookups. Since social distancing, people seem to be feeling more alone and seeking comfort in others, even if it's just online. He texted me, my answer is yes. I'm feeling like I'm turning completely red right now. <laughs> but why are people online dating more now, even though they could not meet normally? I am asking people of the community. I've heard that a lot of people on dating apps use it in the moment more or less for quarantine and chill. So the new Netflix and chill, inviting someone to your home and watch a movie together. Um, I've heard now the one guy actually said that for him it's just a nice way to say hello to a person and then actually meet in real life. So just a short conversation on the dating app and then go out together. Um, and other people just told me that it's really nice to swipe and use it instead of playing something else on the phone. But what effects could there be with the growing usage of dating apps? Anne Breuner is a psychologist who also works with young people. Also, man kan sige, den her online eller virtuel, kun en virtuel digital forbindelse til andre, det kan, det kan meget nemt komme til at føles øh, tomt. Du kan jo godt få, få noget at vide omkring dig selv, eller hvad ved jeg, på, på, på en digital måde. Men du kan bare ikke rigtig mærke de andre. Du kan ikke rigtig mærke det der med at være at høre til, og være holdt af, og, og alle de her ting. For du mister ligesom den der øh, nærhed. Så, så det er lidt det der med, at, at det er der, hvor det er, at vi egentlig sender rigtig mange menneske, unge mennesker et meget ensomt sted hen. Fordi de, de mister den sociale fornemmelse. 
Most countries have put out safety regulations to keep everyone healthy. A part of this is social distancing. Do not feel trapped in my own home, I get some fresh air at the beach. CEOs of dating apps are encouraging people to stay connected by online dating, but also reminding users to keep safe. And while we all know we need to stay at home, the Tinder community has shown us that it doesn't mean we have to be alone with our thoughts in a tower of top ramen. We are encouraging you, for now, to please take all your dates virtual. Even if you're feeling well, you could be unknowingly spreading the virus by meeting in real life. Dating apps have provided new features to help their users to form new relationships. Whether in the app, on Skype or FaceTime, video chats have been the solution for most online daters to meet up safely during quarantine. Also, de her online fællesskaber giver jo selvfølgelig en, en mulighed for at mærke, at man ikke har mistet sit fællesskab. Øh, fordi at der stadigvæk er en chance for at kunne møde dem. Og folk opfinder rigtig mange kreative ting for, at man stadigvæk kan opleve noget. Just like the people in these social media clips. People have also come up with creative virtual activities to do together on a video chat. On Instagram, people had plenty of ideas what they would do. They suggested to play Yatsi, cook together, just hanging out, watch a movie at the same time or dance on Zoom. When I now go outside, I usually talk to my friends and family. I especially call my sister a lot more. Because of the lockdown, I'm starting to feel homesick, something I've never had before. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> no, I spoon you. Yeah. Yeah, thing. Og det, det, der tror jeg, det der med at skabe nye forbindelser, det kan jo både være venskaber eller kæresteforhold, det, det er jo en måde at tage sig af sin ensomhed. Rikke Lund er en professor i social medicine og ser problemer for not well-connected people. It's clear that those who were already socially isolated before this crisis, it may be even more difficult to, that's the negative side, it will be more difficult to get access. Maybe they've just tried to learn how to get access to normal social activities uh, and that they have now been excluded. Especially young people are at risk to become lonely. Another survey showed that during the lockdown, every fourth of this group felt alone. At the same time, nearly 40% of young people kept in touch with their friends and family, more than any other age group. To some young people, this is a very um, secure zone. It's a nice way to, uh, to have contact. You are in your comfort zone at home, uh, where you know uh, what is at least going to happen around you. Nobody is going to surprise you. Uh, but you have control of the contact you have with other people. You can always switch off if you don't want to, which to some at least is difficult in real life. I think I go for a t-shirt. But I'm not quite sure which one. So I have a date later today with my only Tinder match um, so far. We are going to have um, tea or coffee um, in the afternoon in the city center. And this is why I'm getting ready now, right now. You know the feeling when it's, the, it's your birthday the next day as a child and you know there will be so many surprises. Yeah, I pretty much had this feeling yesterday evening like, oh, it's tomorrow, it's such a surprise because I just don't know what, what to expect actually. Basically, I don't know the guy. It has a sense of um, a blind date. And you're, you're hearing um, a lot of these online dating prejudices from, from my normal surroundings, so um, I told my sister and my, my parents that I will have a date today. Um, and they were actually like, 
you're going alone there and what's the sky like and like are you sure about that and so I think like a lot of people actually have in mind that online dating is something very dangerous because you don't know this other person and uh don't know, it could, everything could happen. And yeah, it's it's actually like a surprising bag. You don't know what you get today. So I'm pretty close to our meeting point right now. I actually uh, can see it over there. I'm super, super nervous and I hope it won't be awkward to meet each other the first time. So uh, now to say waiting time um, and see you later. So I'm heading back from a four hour day right now, it wasn't awkward at all um, and we had a really good connection I think, a really nice guy I met, uh, and we talked a lot about things, actually we had a really lot of in common, we like Harry Potter and talked a lot about that and um, yeah I think my thoughts and my doubts wasn't really a thing so it didn't really turn out as I maybe thought it could be like being awkward and maybe meeting cringy person not at all so yeah i had a really nice day just texting without pressure without responsibility i think i really get it why people um using it more especially during corona right now you think that in corona tiden er det en god thing at man kan få lov at bruge dating apps netop som vi snakkede om i forhold til det der med at og skabe sig nogle oplevelser. Øhm, og at man også har mulighed for at, at, at tage sig af sit kærlighedsliv. Um, I think for now I will keep the apps to stay in contact with the people I'm now texting with. I think I don't want to miss it by now.